welcome back guys the topic for today is advent of europeans now the main question that arises in uh, all our minds is that uh, when did europeans come why did they come and what exactly they wanted from india it was on the fall of constantinople uh, which was the capital of east roman empire and which is also the modern day istanbul the turks had captured this capital and the uh, it led to the fall of constantinople these turks that you see in the picture they attacked the uh, place and uh, this what uh, they created they uh, hampered the trade they plundered the whole uh, istanbul and uh, you can see in the picture also this particular picture that they entered the constantinople killing a lot of people and establishing their own empire and uh, over here this in this particular picture you see the silk route from the china towards the ottoman empire present in you can see uh, just above africa arabia and when when these turks attacked this place constantinople which was a hub of these uh, traders between india and uh, the europeans all the spices everything was transferred to through this land route and they were it was a uh, they were the medium traders which were in byzantine which used to pass on the uh, all these uh, goods from india to other european countries so when post attack from turks this hampered this whole uh, uh, silk route and uh, after this hamper it affected the europeans a lot they could not access any raw material which was uh, traded uh, through constantinople because of turks and this hampered the trade and uh, they lacked all the goods they wanted for daily use right then in fort and by the way this attack was made in 1453 and when they uh, they attacked the present team right so vasco da gama he went through the in 148 1498 he reached calicut you can see in the picture this is vasco da gama who came to the calicut area uh, in 1498 he at before that he requested his king that sir i wish to uh, set a voyage to india and in search of a new trade through sea at that time portuguese were in any case the emperors of the sea they had a very good control over the sea and uh, the monopoly on the indian ocean also continued till 1595 right so over here vasco da gama in this particular picture is requesting his king for setting a voyage to india and he was granted he on his way from portugal went on to the africa this point uh, lower point of this africa is known as cape of good hope i'll tell you why it is called cape of good hope he came through this area you can see his how he landed on various points of africa and it is said that uh, he met a uh, indian trader on this african land uh, and who told him that uh, yeah, i think most it was melindy olney who told him that india is towards the uh, east you go straight probably he must have told him go straight towards and you land on to the land the peninsular land and it will be india so vasco da gama traveled all the way from melindi to calicut and uh, you can see that he came to the calicut land as soon as he reached calicut he found that it was being ruled by the zamorian uh, rulers and the zamorian rulers were the rulers of that time of the calicut and he requested that uh, see i am from portuguese and i wish to restart the route by sea and uh, the, the zamorian rulers accepted his request they they uh, created a, they established a new trade with portuguese we can say that this was the first european trade direct trade which was made to india by vasco da gama and uh, it is also said that uh, you know vasco da gama was able to send what he whatever uh, when he went back whatever goods he took from india all the spices which was main, which is main hub of uh, calicut the spices are basically from uh, kerala area so all the spices that he took all the goods that he took from india sold almost four to five times the cost of the voyage 
the cost of the watch was uh, the co- the sell the sell price of the total goods was four times the cost of the watch. So you can imagine the kind of profit that Vasco da Gama earned, and uh, the demand of Indian goods in the foreign market. and that's one of the reasons why all these europeans were dying to rule india uh, once upon a time right so over here we see this is the tomb of uh, is a photo of a tomb of uh, vasco da gama in lisbon portugal and uh, right so i was telling you why is why that african point that uh, peninsula area is called cape of good hope because of the land that emerged in the part of the sea of route to india that particular land actually uh, you know either for europeans it was like uh, you know they were hoping that uh, the sea route to india would be from here so they named that whole place as cape of good hope the good hope is the sea route to india so you can imagine the kind of demand that we had once upon a time and what these europeans from these europeans right this is cape of good hope and from this area once vasco da gama traveled all the way to india right so the next is francisco de almeida he was the first portuguese governor in india who established uh, uh, factory at cochin and uh, nothing much he came he established the factory you can see this factory which was established by him in uh, 1505 this is not the real picture of that factory because that factory is no more there and uh, this is just a interpretation of how the factories and all used to look at that time anyways so almeida established the first uh, portugal factory this was the first uh, factory that was ever the first european factory that was established in non the land of india and uh, post this you know uh, i as i said what were europeans looking for in india europeans were looking for the all these spices you can see in the picture you know the cardamom the pepper and uh, i don't really know the all the names of the, all these uh, spices <coughs> the, yeah pepper cinnamon cardamom ginger these are the main spices that uh, europeans were looking for the great indian spices and uh, the ginger cardamom they they we sell we sold in european market at heavy prices eh? in multiples and multiples of profit right okay the second governor general of uh, the of uh, india the portuguese india was uh, enfonso de albuquerque i'm sorry if i unable to pronounce it properly you can read it over here you can remember it he was the earlier portuguese founder in india In 1510, he ruled from 1509 to 1515. In 1510, this guy, this uh, Alfonso the Albuquerque, he attacked on India. He attacked on the Goa. At that time, the, the red part that you see is the reign of Adil Shah, the Sultan of Bijapur, Karnataka, right? And uh, Albuquerque attacked on Goa, and it was being ruled by the Adil Shah, the Sultan of Bijapur, Karnataka. and uh, also albuquerque also encouraged all the portugal uh, people all the portugal traders and merchants everyone to marry indian women to increase their population on indian land this was a kind of a strategy because the more the population better it would be for them only and by the way you know portuguese were as i told you that portuguese were well known emperors of the sea and uh, their monopoly continued till 1595 on indian ocean and in fact do you this is a fact is one fact cultivation of tomatoes and tobacco was started by them and uh, the main decline of portugal power in india was when they discovered brazil and uh, they paid attention towards it and they started neglecting india right so that's all about the portuguese uh, and how in europeans uh, came into india the first step of europeans in india